Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how we travel from Tortola to Trinidad or the other Caribbean islands, right? Um, I have to make an impromptu trip to Trinidad um, today. Today is oh, um, February the 13th. Um, my mother is not well, so I have to make an impromptu trip, like I said before. Yeah, so the airline that I'm traveling with is Liat, right? And what they do, um, they they make the, uh, a variety of stops to get from Tortola to Trinidad. Like for instance, my flight is um, we are going to stop off in Saint Saint Kitts, um, Antigua, Barbados, Grenada, and then final stop at Trinidad. But for each stop, except um, Antigua and Barbados, we um, stay on on the craft, right? Um, we are in transit in Antigua and Barbados. Normally, when I do these trips, um, the in transit is normally only in Antigua, but this time is Antigua and Barbados. We have to get up the craft. Um, in transit and then get back on after uh, a little while, right? Uh, it's kind of quite, quite annoying to have to come off twice. I had a trip like that once, but generally it's just um, once in transit, like I said before in Antigua, right? Now there are a lot of um, people in, living in the BBI um, from different islands like Dominica, St. Lucia, Grenada, um, St. Kitts. So Leah caters for that, right? Um, they, they do different stops different different times. Sometimes they might stop off um, St. Lucia, they might stop off St. Martin, they might stop off, as I did mention, St. Kitts, right? Um, Barbados, St. Vincent, right? So, but each trip, each flight, is, they might do a different, they might, they might stop at different places, right? So, and it's quite, I paid on this flight, I paid for $518 one way. Around Christmas time, January, February, the prices are very high. I notice around October, the prices are much, much lower. Okay. Now the other way I can get to Trinidad is I could go to um, St. Thomas, take a ferry, go to St. Thomas, and get a flight um, from there. But in doing research, I found that um, what happened is that I may get a layout, but what it does, it goes to Miami. Goes to Miami. I might have to stay there overnight, and then it will travel from Miami to Trinidad. And it, I, I did have to it because I was thinking to save money. But you will save money gets in flight. But if you have to stay overnight, you'll have to pay for hotel accommodation, of course, food, and the money that you, you thought you would have saved, <laughs> you'll have to spend it in um, accommodations like that, right? So, yeah. Another way now, we could take a flight from here and go to St. Martin and get a, should get a direct flight from St. Martin to Trinidad. I did that last time, about a few years back. Um, the flight airline I got from St. Martin was Caribbean Airlines. It was a direct flight um, from St. Martin to Trinidad. But the thing about that one is that it had a long overlay. When we were going, um, I, the overlay was like about four hours. And when I was coming back, it was about six hours. And that really wasn't too nice. So I said I wouldn't do that. And just basically stick with Liat. Yeah, so next I will do a little footage of my trip. Um, hopefully that goes well. And yeah, see you later. Enjoy.
going down the stairs, exercise caution, hold on to the handrails, and watch your step. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for flying with us uh, this morning. We appreciate your loyalty and support, and look forward to serving you in the near future. If you're returning home, welcome back. If you So I'm now at um, the, uh, the airport in Antigua, right? When we landed, first landed here, um, they said that um, we weren't supposed to come off the aircraft. Normally, I know we would um, come off the aircraft. So we were waiting and stuff, and then next thing, the, um, the attendant said that um, we had to eventually come off the aircraft because they had some mechanical problem. Plus, they were refueling, you know. I already found out when they were landing, um, it was a bit rough, you know, but it was a safe, you know, that they do check, make their checks and stuff. Yeah, so I'm, I'm in Tiga now. This is the second stop. Um, the first stop was in Sydney and St. Kitts. Um, we didn't come off the aircraft, but in Antigua, normally, like I am accustomed to, um, we came off, we are off the aircraft. So I'm gonna get somebody to eat and wait for my next flight. So I'm finally getting something to eat. Um, I had somebody, before we, um, we were told that we had to get off the aircraft in Antigua, we had given one of the crew members to get something for us to eat, like a drink and a sandwich. And we eventually met him in the airport and he gave us a sandwich and a drink. I gave him twenty dollars US, US dollars and he gave me back a lot three or four US dollars change. I find that the um, that drink and the, the sandwich is quite expensive. Antigua has always had a reputation of having quite expensive products and food and things like that. Um, to be honest, the sandwich is not that kind of fancy. I'm tasty Thank you. 